Okay, so this video, this just recently happened to me and I just felt the need to get this off my chest because I don't know, it's just, it's weighing really heavy on me. And I actually hit the person up tonight and I told them and I was really trying to avoid telling them anything because I didn't want anyone to look at me like I'm weird. I do not think I'm a medium. I don't think I can do readings and connect with the spirit and I don't think I can do any of these things, right? But um, people that have passed away are coming to me. For some reason, in my sleep, someone is reaching out to me. First of all, I don't dream about anyone that I do not know. Um, I might have seen you before or whatever, but I do not dream about people. It might be like a close family member I have a dream about or whatever. And when I do have a dream about someone that passed away, I don't actually get to see them. Snoopy was the first person that passed away where I actually saw them. Um, before he passed, the closest person to me that passed away was my grandmother. And I could never see her, but I could always hear her voice. Um, but like, um, if, if it wasn't her voice, it would be her voice and it would be like a picture of her but I can hear her voice, but it was never actually her that I would see. And it wasn't until Snoopy passed away where I actually had a dream about a person that passed away and I can see them, like their whole body, I can see them. But what's weird is that although I see him, I don't hear him. He doesn't say anything. Um, he has like a straight face and he, he doesn't say anything. Um, so the first time I had a dream about someone that I didn't know, I met this person before, but I didn't personally know them, but I was cool with their sister. I, um, I went to school with their sister and that's how I met them. Actually, she introduced me to this person, I think two times. So I'm not sure how soon after he passed away. I want to say it was like at the least a year after he passed away. And I think, I, I can't even think of the time frame, but I know that she had recently had a little boy. This was her firstborn child. And I remember I, I had a dream and I woke up in the middle of the night. It was maybe four or five after I had the dream about her brother. So it was me, her, her brother, and we were sitting on her couch. And he was holding her baby. He was holding her son. And I told him, he was holding him for a long time. And I said, all right, now you got to give me the baby back. And I said, um, I got to give her the baby back. And we were all sitting on the couch. She was sitting, um, her brother, it was her brother. And he was holding the baby. Then it was me. And then it was her. And there was one other person who I couldn't really make out. And, um she was like talking to the other person and i was looking at him holding a baby and stuff and playing and he was playing with the baby and the baby was giggling and i told him okay we got to give her her baby now and we gotta go and when i woke up it was early in the morning and i had messaged her on facebook because i just felt the need to tell her because i had never had a dream about anyone that i didn't personally know and a person that had passed away. So I was kind of like, um, like I was confused and lost and I'm like, what does this mean? So I hit her up and it was early in the morning and she happened to be up. And she told me, she said, what's crazy is that I was going to take my baby for the first time today to his gravesite. And I was just like, wow. And I said, I don't know if the dream was him you know, telling me to tell you that he's with you and that he's with a baby. Um, but yeah, that's basically what I got from it was that, you know, he, the baby knows him, he's with her and he's with the baby. Someone I went to elementary school, his brother had passed away um, less than a month ago, I believe, or two months ago. It was his little brother and um last week this is how long it's been i didn't want to say anything so with him i really was hesitant about telling him um because i saw how hurt he was like from his post and stuff and i just didn't want to disturb 
Um, so I was just like, no, 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 don't do it, don't do it. Plus, it's like, who do you think you are to, to, you know, deliver a message and stuff? So I was really biting my tongue. And it was so crazy because it was like I kept seeing his his profile picture. He just kept posting Instagram stories. So he would always be like the first one I see. And I don't usually see him first on my Instagram. So it was just for some reason he just kept popping up first. I was just like, dang, every time I see his picture, I just want to message him. So in the dream, Snoopy was sitting on the porch. I didn't recognize the apartment. But he was sitting on the porch and he pointed like go in there so i walked inside of the apartment and i walk past the living room and i get to a, a bedroom and i see the guy that i went to elementary school with and he um had on a white shirt it looked like he had just got out of the bathroom or something and he was standing up chilling and so i walked up to him and i hugged him and i was holding on to him for a long time like giving him like this this hug of like trying to comfort him and I was hugging him for a long time and then I looked at him and then I hugged him again and then when I looked in the mirror it wasn't me it was his little brother so I was just like what is going on and then I woke up when I looked in the mirror and I saw that it was his little brother I woke up and part of me was like write him and tell him um what happened what happened and it's so weird to me because i can have all types of dreams and everything it can be crazy outrageous dreams but i could never i could never remember what happened if i don't write it down when i wake up or if i don't tell somebody right when i wake up before the day is over i don't forgot half of the half of the dream and then after that day is over oh i don't forgot it you know i can kind of try to i can try to guess or whatever try to get close to it but i basically you know forgot but for some reason when i have these dreams of someone that passed away i remember them like as if i just had them like i remember that dream of her brother and i told her that dream over a year ago and then i had a dream of him of his brother and that was last week and i remember it clear as day and it bothered me so much that I wasn't telling him and, and it was just like Brittany tell him Brittany tell him and tonight I just couldn't help myself I wrote him and I was just like look I know I don't talk to you I don't know your brother and all this stuff but I just had to tell you this and then I shared with him what I think you know the dream was about and then I told her I hope you know this didn't disturb you and when I mean disturb like um like I hope it didn't make him sad all over again and had him relive that day finding out that his brother passed away because I know for me like it was fine and it was cool the first couple of days when I was posting pictures of Snoopy and all this stuff but then when like a week passed and then I started seeing other people post pictures of him it really started to bother my heart I couldn't stop crying I couldn't it like it really bothered me it changed my whole mood and so I just didn't want my message to do that to him but I just couldn't help it y'all it was just I bit my tongue for a week and I just it, it was just something in my body and my soul that was like let him know and he actually told me he was so happy that I told him that. And he thanked me. And he was like, it's not weird. It's not, um, you, you are not disturbing me. I'm glad that you told me. And it just made me feel so much better. And it uh, so much weight lifted off of me when I told him that. It was just like, like something was waiting for me to tell him so I can just relax. I, I just don't know. I don't know, like, what these dreams mean. I don't know. I don't know, y'all. <laughs> I don't know you know I know sometimes you dream about some people or some things like kind of like whatever the last thing that you was watching or thinking about or you looked at usually you'll have a dream about it but that wasn't the case with either one of these so it was kind of like why am I dreaming about this why am I dreaming about this person that I don't personally know so it was kind of weird to me and I kept trying to figure out what does it mean if anybody out there can relate, 
I mean, it will feel wonderful to know that I'm not weird. Um, if there's anybody out there that, I don't know, if there's anyone out there that may have a sense or may have a sense of what that means, I would appreciate that. But right now, I just feel like I'm a weirdo and I don't know. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye.